it ended. I just wanted to write it again. No, no. Don't go up the... Never go up the down escalator, guys. That's always a bad idea. Uh, anyway, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to... Trails of Cold Steel. I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. I sure did. And we're back. It was a good taking a little break from streaming, but I am more than ready to, to get back in the saddle. Playing around with zinc. And just getting getting more of this game done. I think we're almost done. Maybe not. Maybe we're not even close to done. So I'm, I'll just be here today. I'll be looking for secret missions and whatever. You know this game. You know this game and its secret missions. Better stay away from the highways, because there's no secret missions there. Or maybe there are, who knows? Better yet, looks like rest easy. Thor students. Yeah, we got this place back last time. What else? The day sister's here to see her. Aww. Look at that, there's a secret mission right here. Right here, look at the two sisters! I think Vulcan passed away. That's the guy. Yeah, poor Vulcan. Ah, oh, hello, Reen. Ah, oh, hello, Reen. Can we not do this just for today? Uh, I feel like I should just wear a shirt that says I'm not about her. Or I'm sorry about her, or something. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just having a bit of fun with my two best pals. Besides, it's been so long since we've seen each other that it's she probably missed all the teasing. Give me two seconds, guys. But really? Sniffle, I'm just so happy to see you again. I was so worried this whole time. I never should have let you alone. Left you alone like that. You must have been really scared. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I should be the one saying all that. Sniffle. Oh no, here come the tears. Well, you're such a dummy, Linde. Hey, Selen, how are you? What a beautiful moment this is. Hey, Pia Mikaru. It's good to see you too. My Thanksgiving was good. How about your guys' Thanksgiving? I know Selen didn't have one, but... I hope the day was good nonetheless. And I hope yours was good too, Pia Mikaru. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> it's great to see the two of you back together again. Reen, we owe you so much. We might not have ever seen each other again if it weren't for Class 7 and the Courageous. Now it's time for me to return the favor by joining the crew and doing all I can to help out. You had an amazing day yesterday! Nice. What did you do, if you don't mind me asking? What made it so amazing? Sniffle, <laughs> you better. Since I'm gonna keep spicing up your lives as the ship's sexiness officer. Six hug, six hugs, and a huge opportunity has presented itself to me. Ooh, what is it? You remembered why I am an introvert. Why is that, Pia Mikaru? Tell me, tell me. That's not a, I don't think any airship, that's nothing, never mind. Uh, I know you're trying to joke up, joke to cover up the fact that you're crying, but it's really not working. Give me two seconds again, guys. Playing these games with crap on your spectacles sucks. But it's really not working. Boo. Fine, let's just get on that ship. Follow me and I'll show you the way. Do you remember, do you know the board games review show, Sut? Shut up and sit down? Uh, I do not actually. Is it popular? Where, uh, where you are at, at least? I've never heard of it before, but I don't know much stuff, so. Uh, alright then. Thanks again, Reed. We'll see you later, okay? See you on board. They are great. Did they present you with an opportunity of a, a lifetime? Then they found a sister, and uh, fortunately, she will be leaving your place. So sad. Guys, I am very low on money. 
They were looking... There were just so many people, you spent the majority of the time playing with your uncle's dog. Aww. Okay, waste you got time to play with the dog. Speaking of dogs, I learned some, uh, sad news. They are looking for interns! That's not the sad news, that's good news for Salen. Does that mean the... Like, a, are you gonna, like, work there or something? If you're gonna work there, then that's awesome. No, not Harley. It's, uh, my, uh, my aunt's dog. My aunt's dog has, uh, I guess he has cancer. His name is Sherman. And I guess today they're gonna give the green light to make him pass away. It's a little sad. He's, a. Uh, you will film a video of yourself reviewing a board game, and that's basically your application. Nice! I hope you get it. But yeah, unfortunately, and if they take me, you'll just fly to London every other week or so to work there. Oof. That's a lot of flying. Probably. Well, I wish you luck. I hope you get it. This is a good opportunity. You can do it. I'll be pulling for you every step of the way. So excited. I'm happy for you. Your dreams are coming true. Oh man. You're excited to work. You was never excited to work somewhere before. Yeah. Usually no one's exciting excited to work anywhere. But if you're happy, then that's good. Again, I wish you the best of luck. Let's see. Your work puts food on the table, so there's that. <laughs> there you go. That's the best thing you can do. Just put food on the table. Poor Machius. Machius has gotten no love this, this game. I have been giving Machias zero love. They stream on Twitch, too. <gasps> Maybe you can tell them about my streams. Follow Ultima395 at bloop.com. You might be a real Twitch streamer, too, with a frightening number of viewers. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm even more excited for you now. Someone's gonna outdo Ultima in a day. Yep. That's life. <laughs> oh well. As long as people are succeeding. My friends. My friendly friends are succeeding. So I'm not sure what dog breed uh, my aunt's dog is. But he's he's cute. And uh, he's an old dog anyway. It's sad though. I like Sherman. I haven't seen him for as many years as Harley, but Harley but yeah, I'm I'm gonna miss him. It's not cool. It's not cool when a dog has to pass away. I'm more attached to the doggies than the humans. It's is that is that a bad thing? Hey, Angelica. How you doing? You were so excited about that, and, and you didn't get to sleep until 3 a.m. Now you have so many ideas to do a video. Oh, man. It's gonna be awesome. I'll have to check out your streams. Your video game streams. It's a bad thing, but it's a normal thing. What is the the dog passing away? Hey, he'll be with his he'll be he'll be with his 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 uh his uncle at least. 
He'll be with his papa. Yeah, death. It's gonna happen to all of us someday. One day, even I will be gone. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe 80 years from now. Maybe I'll never die, but I'll die someday. Your only hope is that you don't die painfully. Yeah, no, same here. I would like a peaceful death. A very, very peaceful death. Eating greasy cups. And watching season one of Pokemon. That would be the best death ever. Or watching a playthrough of Okami. Oh, I missed that. Hey, Salen! My husband came home! The mine is finally free now! Better yet, there's not a scratch on him! I couldn't be more relieved! Adios, thank you so much! See, uh, see, Selen? It's even better news. Your husband's fine. Your purple-haired kid is fine. Wow. Selen is on cloud nine right now. Dad came home, finally! He was coming so long, I was really sick! And that means he's gonna have to get me a few toys to make up for it! Hee hee hee! Wow, Selen, your kid's kind of a brat. But hey, he's your kid. Uh, oh, Sarah's there. What are you doing here? Grandpa, how do I get good at hide and seek? What are you, stupid? You hide in places where people won't find you. That's what I mean. How do I find places where people won't find me? This kid will forever be bad at hide and seek. Things went came back to normal. A little something. Gotta look into a little something for old Gwyn. That guy is a fitting name. Yep. Best name. I'm gonna call my my, my future son on that. I think it's a good name, right? Huh. No one has a ride along bear? Someone has to. Contact lenses. Lots of charms, lots of bracelets, lots of orange cape, prismatic cape, ooh, holy symbol, golden mishy. You really want to beat someone named after an anime character if that is your goal? They must exist! I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's plenty Gokus in the world. What else? Many... I don't know. You'll find someone. Probably more in Japan than here. Probably more in Japan than here. Uh, what do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you guys think? Give me... There's a German actress whose first name is Wolk. Which means Cloud. That's pretty cool. If you mean Cloud from Final Fantasy, that's more of a, a video game character. But still, I'd be happy meeting a video game or an anime <laughs> character. IRL. You know what I mean. Woohoo, I'm working again! Regroup, re 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 what a day to be alive. That was an animes too. I guess so. He was in a movie at least. I think I talked to this guy yesterday. Not yesterday. So I know Selen didn't have a Thanksgiving, but how was your Thanksgiving? Like, what did it consist of mostly? Besides talking to your uh, your uncle's dog. Hello, Maggie. Such a play girl. I'll tell you guys my my experiences. I had a lot of food. I went to my aunt's house. We had a good time. We saw they have a new TV and they put a 
put like a, a fire, a fireplace on it. Does that make sense? We basically went to YouTube and we looked up fireplaces and we watched a fireplace. That's what we did. Welcome to Roar Cathedral. Thank you. Then we ate, we had turkey, mashed potatoes, I had bread. Bread's my favorite, bread and butter. We did that on Christmas a few years ago. Nice. And then I went to my other aunt and uncle's house on my dad's side. And uh, a lot more of my cousins were there. We played Minecraft. It was fun. I watched him play Skyrim for a little bit. And then I was gonna, I was thinking of streaming ye 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 uh, yesterday night, but I decided, decided against it. Just cause I wanted to, I wanted a, a little break. Little break. I can take a break on a holiday, right? Right? Right, Biblio? Can I take a break, Biblio? What does Biblio think? I don't think he cares. Biblio doesn't care. Oh, Celine's here. Celine will be right back. No problem. We'll be here. Hey, Celine, what brought you here? My desire for privacy and quiet. Have you ever tried taking a nap on the Courageous? Looking at you, you definitely haven't. You look like something the cat dragged in, and that's being generous. I've been better, yeah. Tell you to forget about what's happened, we're beyond that point. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we put up a fake fireplace, we can trick Santa into coming to our house. Or to your house. Probably. Doesn't Santa come to your house anyway? Like, surely he has to. Roar! Residence number one. Hey, Mint's here. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm so glad that Mom and Dr. Mary are right, Liberating Roar, I really mean it. It's not like good play anything. Liberating Roar won't touch you down. Well, the Mint's back with us. You and Makarov. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now we have to look toward... He doesn't go to houses that don't have chimneys. That's what your parents have always told you. Oh, I think they're they're tricking ya. I think they were tricking ya. But now guys, Thanksgiving is over. We have to look to the future. Something's happening on the 25th. You know what that is. You know what's happening on the 25th, Pia Mikaru? I'll let you guess. Selene's in BRB mode at the moment, so she can't guess right now. Hey, talk to me! Uh-huh, I had an ordeal. <gasps> Sweet Blue, the day after your birthday! Is Saturday your birthday? I gotta, I gotta say happy birthday to you on Saturday. And the stream anniversary. That's right. A whole year of streaming. Would you say that 203 followers is a good streaming number? Or a good f f follower number? I hope so. Hello everyone. How are you? What's up? For seriously, someone's happy. Woo! Yay! Sweet on Thank you, Goddess! Woo! I hope they didn't go too far more than anything. Hmm, something. Come back with others. Ask them for help. Blah, 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 blah. Manager Volta. Woo! Finally done. I want to see another thing forever. And just quickly talking to everyone. Just checking any any secret missions, you know. Hey, you're here. Hey, George. Huh. Alright, I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone. I don't think there's any secret missions. I 
there are, then... Well, I don't know where they are. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Relatively, it's a good follow number. That's good. In this new year of streaming, I want to really grow the channel, guys. I'm going to be asking you guys for... for assistance on that. I'll just ask you all, just remember... Any friends you have, family members, tell them about the stream. Let them know. Let's get me to double. Double followers. Even more than double followers. Triple followers. By the end of next year. I'm proud of the, the recognized real man. Oh, I talked to her already. What do you say, guys? Grow, grow the channel? Grow the channel? Let's grow the channel. Let's talk to this guy. Whoops. Stop it. Forgot that we can talk to people more than once and they say different things. I might need to go back and do that. We have to just see that an airliner has been hijacked. Uh-oh. One million followers! Yeah, that'd be awesome. I can finally be famous. Famous, I can live my life the way I've always wanted to. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. Uh, car model. I remember these. These little statues. Been safe after all. Phew, military chief. Fantastic news, sir. Dave. Alright, you get to work. Of course. It's good having quick conversations like this. Our departments. Oh, I've been dreaming. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Welcome to Rainford. No thanks. We are glad. As are we. And once Rainford, we could not. Oh, there's a shop here? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Shop. What's here? Rainford Metal. Ooh. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Uh, no. No equip. No equip. Equip. Hello, how humiliating. It's all lawful. Look at this ship. Remember this ship? I remember that ship. Hold on, what an honor. <laughs> Not at all. So on behalf of everyone, well, thank you. An alarm started sounding, but looking around. That's how you gotta talk, guys. Just talk fast. Employee elevator. Woo! I love elevators. Guys, what's your favorite elevator? Favorite elevator right now. My favorite elevator is the one at the mall that's see-through. Yeah, that one. You know what I mean, right? Alright, so just these two are here. I might come back here later. The one that goes down. Well, I have good news for you, P.M. Mikaru. We're going down. Ready? Alright. Uh, I talked to everyone, so I guess we can do some bonding stuff now. We're definitely gonna talk to Fee. I just gotta find Fee. Fee! Fee is at the airport. I'm gonna teleport to the airport. <laughs> I made Pia Mikaru very happy. I don't want to board the Courageous. I want to talk to the Fee. Uh, where is she? Fee! Pia Mikaru, where's Fee? Are you Fee? You're not Fee. You're a, a mechanic. That's Fee. No, it's not. 
man, this is a big place. Oh, she's way over there, guys. Let's see if the maximum, because her, like, bonding shenanigans are, like, almost, almost at level 6, I think. Esselen, Selen! Heading back to the ship, Reen? Nah, not yet. I'm just wandering and trying to figure out what to do. If I really can't think of anything, I will probably go check in on Valimar and then laze around inside. I'm exhausted after everything that went down yesterday. Me too. It's hard to get what happened to V out of my head. He might have been our anim enemy, but he gave his condolences for our boss's death back at the mine. So it's hard to hate him. He did, didn't he? I almost forgot. I guess it makes sense that I'm not the only one who feels down after that. It might be good to spend some time with Fee since we're both here. Hey, mind if I hang out with you for a bit? I mean, if you think I'll be in the way, just tell me and I'll get going. Of course you won't. Stay here for as long as you like. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Fee. Pia Mikaru? Um, I found Fee. That's a weird freaking cat! Huh? What's a kitten doing here? Meow! He doesn't look too happy. Maybe he's been separated from his mother? He's not wearing a collar, so I'm guessing he's a stray? Hmm... Aww... It makes sense that two cats get along. Reen. Don't worry, we've got some time before we need to head back. Let's see if we can reunite him with his mother, shall we? Meow? Kitten in hand, Reen and Fee started walking around the city, trying to find where the kitten's mother could be. second. <gasps> hey! We found the mom. It's Selene. It's uh, Selene, rather. The kitten. Lazy trick. And they were completely right. Reen and Fee asked everyone they could, even Selene, and even Selene, and searched for the missing mother cat with every fiber of their being. In the end, Found it. <sighs> okay, I'm good now. What is this cat noise? Fumia! Meow! <laughs> Looks like we found our mother. Yep. Even without knowing what they're saying, it's obvious that they're family. Meow! I'm just glad we were able to reunite these two. Me too. His mother must have been looking for him all this time. Nice to know his family didn't abandon him after all. Fee. Carrying him around reminded me of something that happened the day the boss died. Just before he fell in battle, too. What happened? We wanted to watch the battle between him and the Red... Constellation's leader, so we set up camp nearby. All of a sudden, a Jaeger wandered into our camp. A girl about my age. Another Jaeger that young? Maybe a year older than me, I don't know. She, she'd come from the Red Constellation's camp on the other side of the battlefield. All because she was chasing a stray cat. Hold on, she wandered into an enemy camp just before a battle? That seems like an incredibly bad idea. What happened? Oh, we didn't attack her or anything. They weren't exactly in the mood to start anything with us at that point either. So the two of us just talked while she played with the cat. Wow, I can hardly imagine having a casual conversation with an enemy just before your leaders fight to the death. It's almost kind of depressing to think that there are other Jaegers your age out there too. I guess, we're not exactly rare, but she was really strong. Strong enough to lead a whole battalion in their corpse. It was like she lived to be out on the battlefield and killing. Loved fighting as much as anyone I've ever seen. She was more man-eating tiger than girl. 
Sounds like the two of you are total opposites. People tend to paint all Jaegers with the same brush, but the more I talk to you, the more I realize how different they all are. I wonder what she's doing now. I bet she's okay, though. She was strong. Strong enough that she'd be fine even if her family left her behind. That's another way we're different. Unlike her, as soon as my family left me, I became a weak little girl who couldn't do anything for herself. There's more to strength than just proficiency in battle, you know. And even if there weren't, you became much better, a much better fighter since you joined Class 7. I've definitely seen big improvements since our first battle as a class. <sighs> Maybe you're right. If I am, though, it's because all of you have been there to support me. There's no question about that. Hey, we all help each other improve and get stronger, both on the battlefield and off. You helped every one of us. But we're all still got room to grow, and at this rate, we're going to need to do as much growing as we can. Yeah? Well, you got a point. But together, we'll get strong enough to get through all of this. I know we will. I know we will! Uh, two cats scurry off. Fun with Fee! Oh, we're still going up. We're still going up, guys. Almighty blow, lethal assist. Huh. Humpst. Now I really gotta wonder how high uh, it goes. How high does the bonding thing go? Hello, Milium. I guess the item is pretty much stuck in North Station for the time being. Well, better stuff than under Alliance control, right? Not that I think about it, I never want to go. Well, yeah, see me, go, we're going to running again. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Milliam. Mind if I join you, Milliam? We didn't exactly get to look around last time we were in there. And to be honest, I kind of like to. I'm not stopping you. In the words of Fee, let's roll. It's like she knows. She knows I was bonding with Fee. They spoke to the RMP officers. What's inside? Milliam found it. Aww. Hey, Selene. You just came back to a, a very cute moment. Fee with a Renee plush holding a bear plush. It's too many plushies in one screen, to be honest. Oh, it's a stuffed bear. A pretty big one, too. Hee <laughs> hee, he's awesome, isn't he? Gribs bought him for me a while back as a reward for completing a mission! You did? I'm having a hard time imagining Chancellor Osborne buying something so cute as a present. Ha <laughs> yeah. Guess he didn't seem like the type, huh? He probably bought it for me on a whim! Oh, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to suggest he was a cold-hearted person or anything. Hey, while we're here, you wanna go do some exploring? I bet the chairs in here are way softer than any sofa you've ever tried! Sure, why not? Still, we're putting the RMP out, remember? We can't spend too long in here. Millium looked kind of down for a second. Man, you weren't kidding. These really are comfy. It was a gift from the Emperor, though. It's no wonder they'd be so ritzy. I know, right? I'm jealous of how much you got used to it, too! He used to live it up this way to the conference in Crossbell. Oh yeah, Prince Oliver and Tawa were on board for that trip too. Arr. Hopefully your outings were lovely and amazing, Selene. What's up? Nothing. I was just thinking about how this train's lost its master. The same way you, Captain Claire, and the other Ironbloods have. Oh, that's true. Guess he can't really live it up anymore if he's dead, huh? Nothing we can do about it, and though, Crow outsmarted him, and that's that! Still can't believe he actually managed to kill him! Uh, I wasn't expecting you to be able to talk about him so... impartially. I, I mean, if you're upset about it, there's no need to force yourself not to let it show, you know. Why would I be? When Dad was shot by that Jaeger, I was beside myself with worry and anger. And the Chancellor was like a father to all of you, wasn't he? So I'm just saying, there's no need to force yourself to seem happy. If you need a shoulder to cry on, I... Sorry, I really don't know what you mean. 
What's it even like to cry anyway? What, what do you mean, what's it like to cry? Surely you've done it before? Everyone has. I'm asking because I seriously don't know. Wait, you're serious? You've never cried. Not once? I guess not. I, ne I felt moved when reading books and felt kind of lonely when someone wasn't there anymore. But being so upset about something that tears come out of your eyes just seemed kind of alien to me. Ow. She never cried? Never? She's younger than the rest of us, but by her age, the more most people have done it more than they can count. Huh? What'd you go all quiet for? Are you still down about the stuff with V? Cheer up, okay? It's no fun if you're all gloomy like that. This... No, it's okay. I was just having a hard time processing what you were saying. I just want to you to remember one thing. To all of us in Class 7, you're both a classmate and a friend. If anything were to happen to you, all of us would be incredibly upset. Enough to cry a lot. Just remember that. Okay, I still don't know what you're trying to say, but I'll keep that in mind. I really like all you guys, too. <laughs> and come on, with how reckless you are, you're gonna run into trouble way before I do. <laughs> Fair point. I'll be careful. You have never cried in your life. Sometimes your eyes just leak depending on my emotional state. Well, you must have been a tough kid. Meanwhile, I will admit it. I've cried like a baby many, 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 many times. <laughs> After they finished talking, the two left the Isengraf stuff, stuff bear in hand. I'll even admit that I cried during my, both of my jobs. Both of my, uh, the latest two jobs I did. Not afraid to admit it. Not afraid at all. Oh, hi, Fee. What's up? I'm really glad we found his mother. Yeah, thanks for the help, Reem. Uh, who else should I talk to? Uh, Alyssa should be one of them, for sure. Jobs are terrible if you don't want to do them. Exactly. And you can bet, I did not want to do both of my jobs that I was forced to do. Oh my gosh. I would have more fun playing any of these games on Nightmare Mode than doing that job for even one day. Uh, look at that. That's a big engine thing. Remember this view, guys? All these views? I remember these views. Alright, Alyssa. How are you? How's that Joshua plushie treating ya? What are you up to, Alyssa? I'm just checking out the rooms to make sure everything's in order. Sharon supposedly put everything back in order now that Director Rodner's gone, but still. It can't hurt to double check, right? I'd hate it if he ran off with something valuable on his way out. Yeah, he seems like the guy kind of guy. Your philosophy is, if you can somewhat tolerate the work and it pays enough to support your lifestyle, then it's a fine job. These two jobs did neither. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers for my few, for my jobs. They did neither. I did not tolerate the work for even a day. And it didn't pay enough to support my family. Uh, want a hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just see the event. Here we go. Are you sure about doing this on your own? I mean, two people would be able to get the job done twice as fast, right? What are you planning, Schwarzer? Nothing at all, I swear. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I'll take you up on that. The two jobs I worked on were probably the worst moments of my entire life. And I am more than happy to never, ever, ever do them again. To the them in around, Sharon... They knew it. The chairman's room. Well, I'm glad to see that at last the rooms aren't a complete mess like they were yesterday. 
Siren's done a great job cleaning everything up, and it doesn't look like there's anything missing either. Well, that's good news. Uh, as much as I feel bad criticizing Angelica's uncle, Heidel Rogner must be an absolute slob. You think as a noble, he'd at least pay a little more mind to cleanliness. I feel sorry for his housekeeping staff. Then it's good that you don't have to have a job right now. Yep, that's right. I'm glad that this, the thing I'm doing now, is my job. And I don't show it, but I thank you guys every single day in my mind. I need to think I need to thank you all. More. More often. It's probably more than just being a noble. The thought he could get away with never having to clean anything. The president and your mother seemed to have inflated his ego. You're probably right. Sud suddenly having power over someone he was never able to stand against must have been a real threat. Either way, we're almost finished here. Ups here, so... Hmm? What is it? Oh, I just noticed something sticking out slightly from between two of these books. Huh? This is... Aww... It's baby Elisa. It's a photograph of you as a little girl. Thank you for the thank you. And you're welcome for the thank you. <laughs> And that looks like your mother, which would mean... Yeah, that's my father. Why is this hidden away on his, her desk, though? Maybe she pulled it out to look at every... Maybe she pulled it out to look at every now and then while she was working, but she didn't want anyone to know. Honestly, I'm surprised, too. But here it is. I don't think there's any doubt that it's important to her. I guess you're right. Ain't that cute? Family picture. Alyssa put the photograph back where she found it. Check the room. Rest. View. Well, that sure took a while, huh? I can only imagine how much of a task that would have been if you had to do it all by yourself. <laughs> Truth be told, I probably would have given up part way in and just leave left the rest to Sharon. Thank you so much, Reen. For what? Helping out? Well, sure, but while finding that photo earlier might have just been a coincidence, I doubt I would have looked around in Mother's room if you hadn't been there. If I hadn't, I never would have discovered that or realized that maybe, somewhere deep down, she really does care. I think you would have. Even if not today, you'd realize it eventually. She's your mother, after all. The two of you will always have that connection as family, like it or not. I think the day will come when you two understand how much you care for each other with or without a photo just to show. I like to think so, at least. Talking with you like this reminds me of when we had our field study here. We had a little heart-to-heart -heart about Mother back then, didn't we? In the same room. In this same room. It was this room, actually. There's a lot I'm really thankful to you for, though. I wouldn't have been able to free Mother or this city on my own. And this is hardly the first time you've supported me or helped me accomplish something when I needed it most. So for all the times I was too stubborn to say it, Thank you, Reen. I hope I get the chance to repay you for this someday. For everything. Repay me? Well, anyway, thank you for all your help today. I'm, uh, I'm going, gonna be going now. See you later. Oh, right. I'm not sure what that was all about, but I guess I'd better get ready to head out, too. Aww. Ain't that sweet, guys. A lot of feels today. A lot of feelsy, feelsy, feels. Uh, who else? Hmm, I have two left. How about... Uh, Princess... What's-her-name is here? Not here. She's in a different room. How... Have a bonding point with her, and then maybe Machias. I haven't been giving Machias a lot of attention this uh, game yet. Last night I received an invitation to stay here sometime. Sharon's coffee can't be beaten. Join her. Let's go. Not at all. Why don't we get many chances? Ooh, let's go. Quick question, Solan. By the way, are there any secret missions in this uh, town? In this city? Uh, Reen could never say no to Sharon's coffee, Princess Elephant, spend time. 
This coffee really has a nice aroma to it. Tee <laughs> doesn't it? Sitting back and enjoying a cup of Sharon's coffee engrossed in a book, I think I found the very definition of bliss. <laughs> well, I can see where you're coming from. It never ceases to amaze me how many books there are in here. Or even the variety of topics and genres represented. I guess Gwyn has always had a pretty broad range of interests, though. So it makes sense that his library could be as diverse. Indeed, but that only makes it more difficult to decide which volume to read next. Although I must admit, I was a little disappointed to find one particular genre unrepresented here. Oh? Which one? Teehee. The titalizing tales of love loved by fair ladies all across the Empire. No hidden quests. Thank you for letting me know. Stories about the lives and loves of handsome gentlemen. Books that warm the hearts of all who thrill to their prose. Oh, those books. I remember you saying those were pretty popular at St. Australia too, right? But Courageous was lacking in that genre, too, until Dorothy came and seeded it with some volumes from her own collection. So, um, does Elise, you know, have any interest in those kinds of books? Teehee, it's so much... It's so much more magical to just leave the truth of things to your imagination. We're talking about a realm created by and for pure-hearted maidens, after all. It's not a place where gentlemen should tread lightly. Fair enough. I'm curious, but not that curious. Try to at least regulate your corrupt, your corrupting influence, though. That'd be great. If that's truly what you wish, I suppose I ought to respect your wishes. But teasing her is my most cherished pastime, so I'm really prefer to keep it like that. Uh, I wonder if she realizes her struggles are mainly just for entertainment. Still, teasing or not, I'm glad Elise has at least one close friend she can depend on. Oh, and speaking of entertaining pastimes, I actually learned a delightful little card game called Blade from Sharon yesterday. Perhaps we could play a few rounds together? That sounds fun. I accept your challenge. No. Don't make me play Blade. Don't make me play Blade! Okay, good. <laughs> this really is quite an amusing little game. It's nice that even an inexperienced player like me doesn't start at too great of a disadvantage. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't matter how good you are. If your name is Ultima, though, and you stream, then you just always lose. Yeah, the updated version has a lot more strategy to it, though. But, you know, I have a lot of fond memories of this version of the game. I almost can't help but like it. In fact, Crow is the one who gave me my very first deck of Blade cards. Oh, really? It was sad to see the two of you fighting each other, especially after all you've been through together. What is it that forced the two of you to fight like this? Well, ultimately, I think it's a battle of wills and both of us are just too stubborn to give up and walk away. What's happening now? I'm doing people's bonding events. And then uh, after that, who knows what'll happen. What do you mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Memories. Yet, through it all... You could think of it as a high-stakes game of Blade. Crow on one side and me on the other. Are we just playing board games? Yes. We're playing a, a dating game at the moment. <laughs> this is a dating game. We'll get back to main story soon. Neither of us are willing to compromise on the things that make us who we are. Our b beliefs, our pasts, our friends. And without compromise, all that's left to us is to meet each other head on and see who comes out on top. I just hope that while we're doing that, we'll discover where life will lead us and what to do with ourselves after this is over. Hehe, <laughs> I see. Boys will be boys, I suppose. But hearing you describe it, I almost envy Crow's position. Huh? Why's that? <laughs> oh, I just mean Elise would probably think that if she were here now, envying Crow, I mean. After all, it's almost like fate is pushing you and Crow together. It fills my imagination with... thoughts. <laughs> Just a word to the wise, guys aren't too hot about being paired up with their male friends when they don't lean that way. Tee hee, well like it or not, I consider myself someone fully invested in this little battle of wills now. 
so I intend to stay with you and see how it all pans out. You're more than welcome to come along for the ride, your highness, wherever it may take us. Oh boy. I would say that Princess Alphen is, is the first one to think of this, but no. Selene is all over it. The X, uh, Reen X Crow ship. Selene has been on it since day one. Day freaking one, guys. Alright, let's get out of here. As fun as this is. Board game? More like board game. Because they make you bored playing them. <laughs> God, you're funny. Yeah. Uh, that's my creed. I don't like board games because they make me bored. Really though, I'm not a fan of board games that much. I like video games better. Don't you like video games? person next to me? No? What's over there anyway? Are you looking at that lady over there? Oh, I know what you're thinking. She's cute. She's gone. Oh, sorry, kid. Afraid you can't date people if they, uh, if they leave. Anyway, guys, uh, this is Ultima, Ultima Lessons 101. Don't run down the up escalator. Yeah, don't do that. That's that's dangerous. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, where is what's his name? Machias. Uh oh! Come on, stream. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or I think it's just my phone. The only board game I get hyped is Monopoly. My goal isn't to win, it's to crush many, as many dreams as possible. My gosh. What is wrong with you, Pia Mikaru? I mean, that's awesome, and I do that too. But good lord, stream's fine. Yeah, it's my phone. Twitch phones are fun. Oh. Let me turn my phone off and on. I'll be taking a look around Roar Institute of Technology soon. Yeah, 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 cough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that in mind. Thanks. Maybe he's right. Let's go. Of course, I'm hoping he would, shall we? Wow. What was that? Sorry about that, guys. Hey, I recognize you two. You guys came here for a field study one time with your classmates, right? Hit the nail on the head, but... Mind explaining what those two tiny cars are? Hang on. Gotta see the chat room. Oh. Uh, right. I can't see any chit-chat messages at the moment. Yep, can't see them. You guys could be talking smack about me for all I know. Oh, man. It's not good. Mind explaining what those two tiny cars are? Actually, I think I remember seeing them during our field study, too. These babies are a new kind of toy that we're developing. We're calling them Orbal Remote Controlled Cars. They're basically little cars that run on Orbal power that you can drive around with these radio frequency control devices. With things settle down in here and roar, we're off to test our new and improved ones all around town. That's some impressive technology. You've replicated the look of the Rainford Company's Lux line of vehicles very well. Oh, do you recognize them, Machias? With the number of cars on the roads of Heimdaller, uh, you start to recognize different models after a while. So I eventually decided to start doing some research into what each one had to offer. Hang on, guys, I need to stretch for a second. Curse my eyesight, I can't read my computer chat. Yeah? I have computer chat room, guys. I can still see everything you're saying. 
What was that, PM Mikaru? You called me a washed up streamer? Oh, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. The Lux series was one of the ones that I found myself particularly fond of, so its name stuck in my mind. <laughs> no, there's a man with taste. If you can if you can appreciate the beauty of these little babies, you're gonna go far in life. Actually, you're just the kind of guy who would like to give this thing a little test run. Are you serious? As serious as we've ever been. We want as many people as possible with these things as possible, right? Oh, actually, it'd be great if you could grab another friend too. Three people racing against each other would be just would just be awesome. But would also provide us with some valuable data. Are we car racing? Well, in that case, we'd be happy to play with your cars for you. And I already know who our third uh, will be, though I hardly call him a friend. Wait, you're not thinking of... Eusis! Eusis! Yep, he was. How come my phone's not working? Uh, hang on guys, give me a second. My phone's Wi-Fi is off, but my computer Wi-Fi is working fine. Well, well that's interesting. Alright, well, there you have it. Of all the things you could summon me out of the blue for, a toy car race, Still, it's not as though I have anything better to do. I accept your challenge. Huh, smile while you still can. I expect you to give this to your all too, Reen. Uh, okay, if you insist. Wait, is it fixed now? No. I'm trying to read my my computer chat room. Uh, give me a second, guys. Data. Data stream, here we go. Well, now that you know the controls, of course we'll take you from here, around the front of the building, top of the stairs, you gotta go chase after the cars, marble waves, time we get started! Take your positions! Ready, set, go! Is this a real mini game we're doing, guys? The cars left their starting line, and the race of the century began! The three of them chased furiously after their cars, struggling to adjust to the unfamiliar controls. And as they finally near the finish line, Eustace and Machias hit their competitive peak, each one desperate to claim victory! Gah, get the hell out of my way! Huh, kneel before me, fool! Guys, calm down a bit, or you're gonna- Oh! What? what? Impossible! Uh, I think their cars crashed. Yep. We have our winner. In first place, Reen Schwarzer. Is it seriously? It was a neck and neck race, but once they crashed their cars, Eustace and Machias didn't stand a chance. Looks like you got a bit carried away at the wheel there, fellas. Ah, uh, that was careless of me. This is completely ridiculous. We got some fantastic data thanks to you three. We'll have to get this back to the lab and start brainstorming improvements right away. Great work, you guys. Thanks. Thank you. A race complete. Eusis went back to... whenever he was doing, and the researchers skipped off gleefully to their institute. Tch! <laughs> Crazy. Whew, didn't expect they would end up being such a big thing. I'm a little frustrated that I didn't manage to come in first, but if the whole thing cheered you up, I'd say it was well worth doing. Thanks, Machias. That means a lot. Hey, no need to make a big deal out of it. On a more pragmatic note, I can't see something like toy cars becoming very successful during wartime. Just another reason for us to fight for peace, I suppose. Yeah, that's a fight I'm sure we'll win. Besides, if these things ever make it to market, we can have another race. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Next time I'm taking Eusis down. Uh, how about try taking me down? Cause I beat ya. Beat ya both. Yeah, my bond with Machias is extremely low. Alright. 
phone chat is still off. Phone is, uh, phone is behaving very, very stupidly at the moment. And I don't appreciate it. So where's a Valimar? How do I check Valimar, guys? That was a thing I had to do, right? Valimar! Where are you? She said check Valimar, but I, I don't know how to get to <laughs> Valimar. If anyone knows how to get to Valimar, please let me know. I'll pay you 30 ulti bucks if you let me know where, where Valimar is. Let it be known, ulti books don't exist yet. Maybe here? That's where I go to end the... the shenanigans. Huh... Let me save it now. There we go. Turning it off and turning it on again? Yes, I did that. That was the first thing I did, actually. Should I go and check on Valimar in the hold? Okay. So Valimar is in the hold. Are we back? Is my phone back? My phone's back randomly, I think, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> my gosh. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm done, so... Yeah, let's go. Whew, thanks, phone. Network error, please try again. <laughs> Upper rank you go! Here's a bonus Rank up! Wow, that must have been tough. It was. Ass. You guys are really on the ball! Mother! Fuck! How are you feeling, Valimar? The battle yesterday must have been pretty hard on you. I am fine. The damage to my armor and lost mana have largely recovered. I expect to be in peak condition before our next battle. That's good to hear. <laughs> Just listening to you talk, you really have changed since we first met. You seem to be talking a little more like a human now. Is that so? That would suggest that my memory is slowly recovering. What's that now? The part of me in which memories are stored appears to be damaged. I have very few memories of the past, such as why I was sealed within the old schoolhouse to begin with. This includes my memories of language. Thus, however, Oops. thanks in great Sorry. part to your assistance, my speech functionality is slowly beginning to restore itself. Does that mean that your memories of the past are starting to return too? It is an indistinct memory, as if clouded by white noise. I seem to recall some burdened by a great sadness, much like yourself. <sighs> that obvious, huh? I look that burdened to you? Someone died right before my eyes. I was powerless to stop them. Do me a favor, people in chat. Uh, j just type something really quick. Can be anything. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that I might have been able to stop it from happening. And that regret's like a thorn stabbing into my heart. Was the person in your memory able to move past their burdens? I am unable to find any memories to answer that question. Nope. Phone is a piece of poopy right now. My phone's a piece of poopy right now. However, I believe that your sense of regret is an entirely natural process for humans. Is that not the case? Alright, I'm gonna forget about my... my phone chat room for now. I'll read my computer one. Well... yeah, I guess. Give thought to what you would do differently if confronted by the same situation again. If I can aid you, I shall. Yeah. You're right. I can't undo the past, 
but I can at least make sure I don't make the same mistake a second time. Perhaps considering how to do that is the best thing that I can do right now. Thanks, Valimar. I feel a little better after talking to you. Then all is well. I am afraid I must return to sleep. Should you require my aid again, you need only to call my head. I need to keep on getting stronger. I have two monitors, one for streaming, one for making sure the the stream doesn't crash. And then there's my phone that makes sure my chat doesn't crash. Strong enough that I can protect the people around me. The ship's maintenance is probably almost done now. Maybe I should take a nap or something while I wait for the others to get here? Yes, this is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hey there, Reen. George here. Uh, do you have a minute? George, is something wrong? Well, I'm over at the Ruhr Institute of Technology at the moment, and an acquaintance of mine here has a pretty interesting proposal regarding your Divine Knight. How soon do you think you can come over? A proposal? Who is this acquaintance of yours? Well, it's the Institute's president, actually. Professor Schmidt, the Empire's foremost Orville researcher. You see, he would like to buy Valimar off of you. And I think that would be a very good thing to do. And I just leave. <laughs> I just leave the room. So, yeah. Oh, boy. What do you want, Mr. Schmidt? Schmitty? Professor G. Schmidt. The name's G. Schmidt. I serve as this institute's pre president. I certainly wasn't expecting the pilot of the Ashen Knight to be only a boy. The Alliance ought to be damn near ashamed of themselves if they keep losing to a snot-nosed brat like you. Ha 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 Um... I don't think that's any way to talk to a person you've only just met. Besides, he happens to be one of the students who helped you get that minor medal earlier in the year. And, one of the students put out that request without any input from me. You should be kissing my boots for having the honor, the honor of assisting with my research, however indirect it was. Uh, some things never change. Putting that aside, is it true? Were you the one responsible for developing the Panzer Soldats? It is. Duke Cayenne made the request and I agreed to it. I used the ancient robot Ordeen in the society's arcane zim 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 as a reference point, and then designed the frame that could be mass-produced even with the Rainford Company's technological capabilities. Afterward, I drew up plans for several models and oversaw the completion of a Draken prototype a few months back. Why do you ask? Do you have any idea what you've done? Ah, oh, you're wasting your time, Reen. He develops whatever catches his interest. He lo loses himself until it's he's done. And to hell with the consequences. The railway guns in Gorelia Fortress and the Orbal Wave jamming device in Nord were both designed by him too. Unbelievable. Bah, an engineer who doesn't strive to satisfy his intellectual curiosity is a sad type of engineer. We just, we just design things. It's up to their users to decide what to do with them. <sighs> do you get it now? It was because I couldn't cope with this part of him that I ended up do going to the academy over there. Over here. Yeah, I totally get it, unfortunately. Alright, what made you come visit the professor to begin with? Ah, of course. That was what I called you here for. I was hoping I might be able to get him some kind of advice for pointers, or pointers from him. You know, about getting a new weapon for Valimar. Oh. Oh. And if I might be so bold as to offer a word of advice, get Valimar a better sword, one like yours. If you think you're such hot stuff you can beat me without your eight leaves training, you're in for a world of hurt. Correct, Correct choice of armaments is indeed paramount. Selecting while the Awakener is well suited to will increase combat efficiency exponentially. George told me about what you're after. He says you want a weapon capable of fighting on equal terms with the Azur Knight. We might have gone our separate ways, but he's still a former student of mine. I'm open to the possibility of designing something for you. 
really? You'd make a weapon for Velimar? I said I'd be open to the possibility. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If you want my help, I have one condition. Sumerian ore. Ring any bells for you, Reed? I think so. You used that to make weapons for us before, didn't you, George? Oh, you know of it? Saves me the effort of explaining, then. It's an extremely rare ore found here in Zamuria. It's an astoundingly strong material that possesses a mysterious radiance within it. And what's more, as I learned while developing the Soul Dance, the frames of the Divine Knights are made up of that very ore, your Ashen Knight included. I had no idea. The double saber Ordine uses appears to be made of it too, which as I'm sure you figured out, means if you're ever going to compete against Crow, you're going to need a tech G, made of Zamurian ore too. To make one, however, you're going to need vast quantities of ore, yet it was only recently discovered how to refine the ore at all. Processing will be immensely difficult, but bring me the materials and I'll be willing to assist you. The concept of a weapon that can compete against Divine Knights is of great interest to me. Uh, even when you're helping people, it's only to help yourself. It'd be nice if you were doing it to atone for developing the soul dance, but I can't picture those words coming out of your mouth. The very thought makes me ill. Bear in mind, Zamurian ore is an incredibly rare material. I doubt you'll find enough of it to get the job done. Still, should you pull it off, I'll design you the finest Tachi you have, you'll ever have ever laid eyes on. On the name of an engineer, I can promise you that. Thank you, Professor. This will be a great help to us. Rare or not, we're going to find all the Zamurian ore we can to make this work. Huh, I'll keep my expectations low. So basically, we're forging the Master Sword. Do, 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 do. Arene surprise forge Valimar could have asked for better. Green and George laughed, and once the maintenance was declared complete, they boarded the courageous and departed. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it! Now it's time. It is time for tour touring Erebonia three. The third trip of looking for our classmates can we do it or will we will we fail Angie's on the crew now so that's good it is time I have to tell you I'm impressed I was expecting this beauty of a ship to be on the feisty side but she's real but she's a real sweet girl <laughs> Cutting through the clouds like this feels wonderful. <coughs> Get used to this. But wow, I can't believe how quickly you've gotten the hang of it, Angie. Uh, neither can I. But I think it's obvious who's more qualified to sit here between the two of us. This job's all yours now. <laughs> Why, thank you. I hereby accept the position of Chief Helmsman and Courageous Second in Command. She really is amazing. Wait. Solent says, "Tis time." <laughs> Haha, there's no one out there who can tame a vehicle as fast as Angie. We're not gonna have to worry a thing of with about a thing with her around. Moving right along, the good news is that we were able to liberate Roar. I don't think any of us could have predicted how much of the war situation would change in the process. Marquis Rogner and his provincial army's withdrawal from the conflict will have a profound effect going forward. Losing one of their key members is bound to be a painful loss to the Alliance. For one thing, it should make things easier for Lieutenant General Vander and the 3rd Armor Division. Their greatest concern before now was the Nortia Provincial Army, after all, as the Alliance's overwhelming supremacy is finally starting to sway. Only in East Terabodia, though! You still come out on top from the in the West! Right. Prince Oliver said as much, too. General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardiaz are out there, claiming one victory after another. And then there's your brother Eus your brother Eusus. He's a brilliant leader, and it shows. I see. <laughs> Be that as it may, all we can do is focus our efforts on the Eastern Front for now. That's what we were entrusted with, and fretting over things we can't change won't do us any good, right? That's putting it into perspective, yes. We've got our hands full over here as it is, so let's make every moment count. 
Time to get back to gathering all the info we can. Speaking of, mind giving us an update on the situation with Valimar's weapon, Maureen? Ah, right, how could we forget? Professor Schmidt agreed to cooperate with us, didn't he? Cooperate is a strong word, Alyssa. He only cares about what interests him. Then it, that it ends up befitting us is purely secondary. And remember, he's only going to help if if we find if we happen to find enough Sumerian ore to make a weapon. How we're supposed to get stuff that rare is beyond me, though. You said that Valimar himself is made of that ore, did you not? You wouldn't happen to have any ideas, would you, Emma? Hmm. I'm afraid the Hexen clan knows very little concerning the creation of the Divine Knights. Some legends passed down through the clan say that they were made during the time of the Great Collapse. Specifically, they were forged by artisans who called themselves Gnomes. Hmm, that's an interesting name. I know the term from old stories much like anyone else, but I had no idea a band of artisans by that name existed. Supposedly, they once worked closely with the clan's ancestors. But somewhere down the line, the witches and the gnomes ended up parting ways. I couldn't tell you exactly when. How curious. Maybe so, but none of that's going to help us find any ore. Our chances of finding enough were pretty slim to begin with. I know where you can get enough, but only if you're willing to overcome some very difficult trials to obtain it. Is this the, uh, those buildings that we couldn't get into? Can we do those now? You do? Really? What do I have to gain by lying? You're aware of those strange ruins scattered all over the country, right? Yep. 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 Oh yeah, where the higher elements were active? Those are the ones. They're called spirit shrines. Ugh, excuse me. They were built on top of Septian veins long, long ago by the gnomes to encourage the formation of massive Zemurian ore crystals. Those crystals were, in turn, used to create the Divine Knights. So if there's any place in Erebonia to start looking for the vast amount you need, it's there. I had no idea. Why didn't you tell us this before now? Am I supposed to be a mind reader? It wasn't exactly relevant until now, so why bring it up? <sighs> no need to bite our heads off. Hey, she told us now, right? All we gotta do is go to one of those shrines and we'll be ruling it our... Or... Let's hope so. We've got a lot on our plate checking up on the country, but exploring a shrine's been our best lead yet. And no matter how difficult it might be, a little thing like a trial isn't gonna scare us away, right? Right! Oh man, you guys. This is it. Uh, no. With the discussion coming to an end, their destination had been decided. Before departing, however, class seven thought it would be best to check in if there were any new requests. Timing turned out quite apt. Several their way. Uh, let me do something really bit, really quickly. Yeah, I think the router is acting up, guys. I might need to end stream early. I hope not. I don't want to, but... When the internet sucks, the internet sucks. <laughs> uh, Gone Air. Like Con Air, but Gone Air? The sweetest of challenges. Uh, Phantom Thief B. Oh, God. Phantom Thief B's back, guys. And... A uh, monster. There's a monster. Cruising for a bruising. <laughs> this one's from Klain. I'm happy to see that Hebel's with him, too. Not so happy about the airliner going missing, though. Doesn't seem like anything. Doesn't seem like something we can afford to ignore, dangerous as it sounds. But look at this one. The Phantom Thief B? Uh, what's this about reading a letter? as if we have the time to be concerning ourselves with its pathetic antics. Uh, I know what you mean, really, but ignoring it might be even worse. Yep, we got our work cut out for us. Hey, Reen, I want to look... I want to help look out for everyone. Let me come with you, okay? Of course, Fee. You're always welcome. 
I think Selene and I should come with you too while you're when you're exploring the shrine too. I was about to say the same thing. And make sure you're ready before you go. I wasn't kidding when I said the trials were difficult. Oh no, I can't remove Fee from the party. Guys, what am I gonna do? No. No. Hell yes. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, here's my dream team right here. Uh, who else? Milliam for fun, and Elliot's a good healer, so there we go. Alright, guys. Oh, Tawa has a request for us, I think. <laughs> yep, it's the absolute worst. Is it pronounced fee or fight? I'm pretty sure it's fee. Fee, I'm like 99% sure. Aureen, did you see the request from Clan and Hivel? Yeah, it sounds like they've run into something pretty serious. You've read the details too, right? About an airliner being hijacked and the passengers being taken hostage? Yep, this would usually be a matter for one of the armies, but with the war going on, they can't spare the manpower. That's when the two of them decided to step in and take matters into their own hands. And if we can, we'll be sure to go and help them out too. Where, when, yeah, where did it say they were currently waiting? The Isengard range, right? Right, apparently the hijacker, hijack liner, well, eyeliner. I can't read this anymore! My reading, my brain, my ulti brain is dead right now. It's in dead mode. Two of you, that's right, join the crew, plenty of work, <laughs> inspired, that is so not it. Anyway, do my best to earn the courageous, anything you need to know, you bet, thanks, bye. The brain is dead, guys. Uh, student information, we have a lot of people to rescue. Cool. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, I just saw a name that was familiar. Uh, Margarita. Oh boy, I remember her. You, you guys remember Margarita? Like if I read the Japanese name. I'm trying to read the, the chat. My second monitor, my laptop is on the floor right now, and my computer is on a desk. So it's a little difficult. Anyway. Let's go to the shops. Let's get some. See if we can get some better weapons. Better weapons, right? Better weapons. A better weapons, indeed. Yes. Uh, Strength would go up on this for sure. Yes. Oh no! I'm out of Mira. Alright, guys. You know what this means. I, I'm gonna have to money grind shoot soon. I'm going to have to money grind soon. Because having no, no money is not good. What's this? Bedroom? What are you doing in here? Oh, you can put him there. I need the offer, but no thanks. Oh, look at the little bears up there. The little bears up there. Ain't that cute? Ain't that adorable? I'm king of the world! Cue, uh, Titanic theme here. Uh, is the floor carpet or wood? We'll say it's carpet. We'll say it's a fancy carpet. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. You want to see Crow? We'll see Crow again, we will. Uh, 
choosing this bitch. Carpet runner brown and steel. Airship material. Well, there you have it. You can now travel to the Isengard range. You can now travel to Roar! You can now travel to the Sanction Iron Mines. You can now travel to the Swartz Drak Barrier. Furthermore, between your own efforts, you can fly to the Four Spirit Shrines. North Highway. North Highlands. Gorilla By Road. And Evil Highway. Know that the main story will advance when you complete any one of these shrines, so be absolutely certain you do everything else you want to first. Where do you want to go? So I have to complete the side quest first, more or less. I will do that. But first things first. Full let's, speed ahead! Let's go back to Ymir. We we need to go back to Ymir, guys. It's very, okay. very important that we return here. You know why? Because we gotta get our CP back up. Now that I think about it, guys, we've done no battling today. Can you believe that? Not one battle. Will this be it, guys? The stream with no battles? No way. These guys look new. So what are these hot spring thingies anyway? They toughen you up, right? N no, they don't! Don't you lie to me, goody two-shoes. I heard there's this super strong old guy who loves them. Well, that's true, but... Come on, the hot spring's free for everyone. Try not to kick up a fuss about it, okay? Glad the... The, uh, the rowdy kids are... Crazy still. Everyone here good? Here's the, the troublemaker boy. What's this? I'm kind of dull. What the heck's a manju anyway? Wow, check this out, Pateri. Wait, you're not Pateri. Stop confusing me. Do I look like Pateri to you? No. Manju, anything new here at all? <gasps> Manly Munchies Pasta! Uh, modify exchange. I don't think we can do. Oh, yes, we can! Look! Uh, new things. Uh, mine three, confuse, attack three is here, I, I think. Yep. There it is! Awesome! I can't wait. This is gonna be fun. Alright, guys, we know what we have to do. You can now play the, the B3 course! Uh, any new? Yeah. Just checking if new messages. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be the hardest one yet. <laughs> oh, one's right there. Gotta keep my eye out uh, for all the flags, guys. Oh, right there. No, I missed one! No, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable, guys. Alright, I know where that one is now. Gotta go... Uh... Over here. God, I love this music. That's snowboarding music, you know? There's one right there. There we go. Oh god, that was a close one. Hang ten, dudes! Snowboarding ten, at least. Dodge that stuff. Can I do this, guys? Fourteen. Oh god, there's a skinny. Woo! That was a close one. No, no, no! <laughs> Alright, okay. Wait a minute. Reen, reen, reen. Yep, it's a solid mini game. It's a great mini game. 
This game fails in Blade and card games, but good god does it aim and shoot for the stars in snowboarding. I'll say it before, I'll say it again, this is the best snowboarding game I ever played. Wait. Yeah. That's the same stuff you said. No, I did it wrong. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Whee! I'm a little better now because I have a, a million board. <laughs> Look at that. I did a little like jump, and it helped. <laughs> I don't know how much that helped, but it helped. Oh, that was a close one. Would you race down a track like this in real life, guys? Say you guys are master skateboarders. Would you guys do, uh, do this? I was a skateboarder, I try. But I am not a skateboarder. So... Yeah! Woohoo! Did it! Best freaking mini game ever! Uh, lower difficulty. Oh, my time won't be saved. The time limit will be removed. No way, man. Amazing. You're a natural at this. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead, take it. Cool. And take this too. It's a new board. Eastern board. Ooh. And I'll be able to keep the courses maintained. I certainly will. See you again. I wonder if there's any more, uh, courses. Any more courses after B? C course. Now with more things to dodge. I'll check up on the town a little bit. I've grown, I've grown to like this town now, guys. I've really grown to like it. Can't get the excellent rod. That's a good quartz, you think? Let's look it up. Um, 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 domination. First attack and craft used each battle deals times two. Jeez. Uh. Rat. Rat's brat. Laura needs this right away. Laura needs that immediately. Class SS, Cross Crusade, I remember that being amazing. Uh, makes enemies more likely to notice you. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe, sure. Maybe when I get to the last battle, I can equip it on someone. Like, right before the final battle, or just right before a boss battle. Anyway, let's see what everyone's up to. I've grown to like this snowy town, guys. There's just something, something nice about it. Hey, yo, what's up? I don't know if someone believes, but maybe his behavior is presently acceptable surroundings. This is work a little more. Whoops. Uh, so I think today was, I'll say we didn't get much done, unfortunately, but we're here now. We learned a lot about our classmates, and that's, that's good enough for me. I was wondering where the two kids were. Oh, are you holding classes today? That's right. I'm the teacher for the classes here now because these are the only children attending. Hehe. <laughs> Sunday, stu Sunday school classes were a lot more lively when you and Elise attended. <laughs> yeah, I guess they were. Well, don't worry, Elise. I'm coming for you. It's easy. The only thing is memorize date. Literature's way harder because everything's really vague. Today we get history and literature class. I can't wait to get started on the literature. We get to read fairy tales. I'd love to read fairy tales. In my English class, I had to read these boring books. 
Well, some weren't boring. Some were actually pretty dang good. <gasps> oh, the puppy! Woof, 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 woof! Sorry, Bayaducks, I want to go out hunting too, but Father Bernard still says no. Not that you can understand even if I try to explain. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to play with you for a while. <laughs> he never changes. Oh, I love puppy. Oh, <laughs> I know the puppy so much. Bayaducks is a good boy. He is best boy. If he was my number one companion, I would be very happy. Uh, I don't want to do this, guys, but I'm afraid I have to. I don't have any other choice. Bonding events need to rise, so I gotta do it. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about nothing that's on this floor. I am talking about Celine's favorite minigame and my least favorite minigame. Assuming I can find it. Is this room open yet? Multi purpose area. Oh, there's a secret uh, event. There's a secret. There's the, the, the secret! Huh? A letter? Alright, it's probably probably from Phantom Thief B. This this must have been what he meant by where the blue cross in dip in dick takes. We took the letter. Yep, this is him, alright. What should I do though? Honestly, I'm ham tempted to just cram it in my pocket and keep going about my day. No, I think I should read it. What if he's already what if it's about a crime he's already committed? I hate to just be sitting on this until later. Only to find out what I read is that he's too late to do any harm. Blah 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 blah. Oh god. To my dear friends in class seven, I've taken the liberty of preparing an enjoyable diversion to spice up your mundane day-to-day -day lives a little. Well look at that. I'm already regretting opening this thing. I continue to watch your radiance from afar, ever dazzled by its brilliance. That radiance is no doubt the fruit of that of the bonds you share with one another. Bonds which today I wish to test. I wish to see how you act when the seeds of distrust and discord are sown among you, and I shall be watching from close by. To witness so rare and priceless an occasion, I will be stealing from you one of your beloved classmates. I hope you'll enjoy this little experiment. I know I certainly will. To steal one of our classmates? Uh oh. Damn, I have to tell the others about this. There's not a moment to wait. Now, let the game begin. Oh god. Dance for me a beautiful dance. Each step replete with uncertainty. That's him. I can't believe he was able to access the ship's intercom system. And even the lights. Oh, they're back on now. I need to hurry and check on the others. Oh my gosh, guys. How insane did this get? This mission? This mission? What about this mission? Is this mission bioed? Oh no, more reading. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, that's why I asked you all to come here, but... Um, everyone seems to be present and accounted for, at least to me. Perhaps this whole, that whole business about him stealing one of us was a lie, huh? Then? I don't know, he doesn't seem like the type who'd do go to all this effort, then not follow through. Do you think he's already struck? Stolen a member of Class 7 and assumed their identity? I'm gonna accuse Angie? No way! If he did, he's a true master of disguise. Everyone looks the same as ever to me. I will assume Princess Elfin as well. I don't know if this is related to the current situation, but after the lights came back on, I found this card in the Orbal factory area downstairs. Uh, are you up for it or shall I give you... Hint solution. Uh, no hints yet. Can I have a look at it? 
theft has been conducted successfully. I am now among your number. So Angelica was right then. Wait, there's more. Having established that, allow me to lay down the rules for our little game. Being Schwarzer, you shall take up the mantle of detective. Your mystery is to discover whom among you I have replaced. To make things a little more interesting, I will allow Selfie to act to aid you and as your assistant. Me? What a twisted man. This is all just some game to him. Naturally, I have not taken the place of the detective or assistant, and not your tutor either. I have assumed the identity of another of Class Seven's members. I look forward to your struggles to discover which one. Here's to your success. So we're all potential suspects then? I should hope he didn't choose Emma. Hmm, if we include Reen, Fee, and Instructor Sarah, it leaves eight people that could be him. <laughs> it's starting to sound like fun! As long as you're not suspecting me, then it wouldn't be much fun! Before we begin, however, I would like to set forth two rules in this interest of a fair and enjoyable game, of course. Rule 1. Questions must concern events that happened after you went your separate ways from the bridge. Inquiring things about that happened before, then? Questioning information I could not possibly know is strictly forbidden. You may not consult with anyone outside of Class 7. That includes the Purple Lightning. Should you violate either of these rules, I can no offer. I can offer no guarantees of the safety of your missing member. I would assume that by now, you know me well enough to realize that this is no idle jest. Well, that's everything. You can fit a lot on these cards. Uh, um... Tawa, didn't it s don't say anything that might break the second rule. Yes, for their sake. I think it's best to j for us to keep just keep our mouths shut and let them figure this out now. We can't risk whoever taking hostage in danger. I'm off limits, camp two. Roll through the thing, creep. I can't read anymore, guys. My brain is dead. Leave this to us. We'll get them. Okay. Oh boy. This is gonna be tough, guys. This will be the toughest quest ever. Alright, we are finally ready to get this started. How we're gonna work this out. The one where we can only ask questions about things that happen after we split up. If it wasn't for that, this would be a fairly simple matter. Dinner yesterday. Ah, which means that rule exists so he has plenty of time to savor the enjoyment before we work out the answer. Ah, give me a break. So which one of us is he pretending to be then? <laughs> I don't really like having to doubt each other like this. He did say his intention was to test our bonds. I suppose this is one way to do that. You worked something out yet, Reen? I wish. So far, I've got nothing. How about you? Same here. Maybe we should give everyone a, a pat down. Well, what? I guess that's not technically in violation of any of the rules. And I see no harm in doing so. But, but, don't worry. I'll handle the girls. Green can do the boys. Taking out of context, that phrase, Green can do the boys, it's not a... <laughs> it's funny. But well, I suppose that's fine, then. You seem strangely reclusive. I thought so. You're him, aren't you? What do you mean, you thought so? If you ask me, you're more likely to be the rat. Although, frankly, I find it hard to believe that any imitation could capture the sheer arrogance that seeps from your every pore. I take it back. I find it equally ludicrous to think that any imposter could duplicate your ability to overreact to the slightest provo provocation. <laughs> well, it looks like these two are the same as ever. I think we're letting ourselves get a bit sidetracked, though. Yeah, let's get on with those pat-downs. Good lord. Alright, here we go. Let the pat-downs begin. Well, that didn't get us anywhere. What should we do next? Maybe ask everyone what they did after we split up earlier? Yeah, that's probably the best place to start. Uh, piece together day's events. Oh, God. Oh, yep. Reen can absolutely do the boys. Good lord. So, Elliot, can you tell us what you've been up to? Hmm, well, I went down to the factory area with Machias because we wanted to make a few tweaks to our weapons. Machias was still taking care of some stuff, but I hopped on the elevator and left. 
headed to the arts training room to see how the modifications went, and that's basically it. Right, so you went to the factory, got some weapon adjustments, and then went to test out your staff. And Machias was with you initially, so he'll at least be able to verify if that first part happened. Gotcha. Thanks, Elliot. Alright, let's ask someone else then. How about it, Machias? Can you tell us what you've been doing? Of course. First I stopped by the factory area in the same hold with Elliot to have some adjustments made to our weapons. Elliot finished up first and left, while I stuck around waiting for my shotgun. About half an hour later, I finally left the hold as well and dropped by the game room, where I ran into none other, uh, none other than Usus. We even ended up playing a fairly civil game of billards too. We were still playing when all of this trouble happened. Sort of a friendly game of billards just like that. Aw, you're such good friends. We are not, we are not. <laughs> anyway, thanks for giving us your account, Machias. Alright, let's ask someone else then. Can you tell us about what you've been up to, Usus? Certainly. First I went to the close combat training room where I sparred for a while with Gaius. After practicing for a while, we parted ways, after which I went to the game room. I was there roughly 30 minutes before Regnitz wandered in to br break my peaceful river there. He was being his usual noisy self, so I figured I'd shut him up by vesting him at a game of billards. You just have to mow and make yourself sound superior, don't you? Oh, take it easy then, guys. Seems to add up with Machius' testimony. Yeah, thanks, Usus. Alright, let's ask someone else then. So... Nothing suspicious so far. Can you tell us where what you were up to, Gaius? First, I swung by the close combat training room where Eusis and I went a couple rounds. Eventually, we, we, we both left the room and headed to the elevator together. I was the first to get off at the third floor. In the elevator, I headed straight out of the front desk to enjoy the feeling of the breeze in my hair. We trained with Eusis and then went to the front deck. Thanks for your testimony, Gaius. Alright, let's ask someone else then. Hmm. Maybe Gaius. Well, let's talk to the other, the, the, the ladies. I was hanging around with Milliam for a while. We were sitting and talking at one of those tables in the third floor hall. After a while, she remembered she had something to, she had something to do and left. I stayed there, and pretty soon after that, Princess Elfin passed by and invited me into the royal room. That's it, I think. So you went, you were with the princess? Thanks, Alyssa. That was a big help. Laura. Can you tell us what you were doing, Laura? I can, though I'm not afraid that I'm afraid that's really not much to tell. Just to remain behind on the bridge, observing the crew at work. Oh really? There's not much any point in inquiring further than thanks, Laura. Hmm Interesting. Actually I was with Fee the entire time. You were? Yep, she was. Celine was there too. They were both nearby when the lights went out, too, so I have a hard time believing it's Emma. Right, B's got no reason to lie, but we are dealing with fifth with B here, so we can't be 100% certain it isn't Emma. What, what were you doing together, then? First we went to the reference room so I can investigate something. After that we went to the kitchen. Does all that check out, Fee? Yep, all of it. Okay then, thanks Emma. Alright, let's ask someone else then. All right, Milliam, say something contradiction, contradictory, please. Sure. When first I was hanging out with Alyssa at one of the tables in the third floor hallway, you were just sitting around talking about. But but then I don't remember my bear. I remember my bear. Your bear? I got him from Gramps. Then I and I finally got him back from his train while we were in Roar. Anyway, I forgot I hadn't put him somewhere nice yet, so I went straight to the nap room to plop him down there. Oh yeah, that's where I ran into you earlier, isn't it? Thanks, Milliam. I'm gonna assume Gaius right now. Well, that's everyone. Ah, uh, not being enough to prove anything, someone could be lying. Ask everyone if they saw anyone else. Now that you mentioned it, it's a good idea. Thanks for the tip. What assistance do? True enough, in that case. Uh-huh. Anyone else? Oh, actually, I did. I passed by Eustace and Gaius together and said hi to them. Oh, right. 
Uh huh. I took her myself. No one I saw no one other than Elliot. I saw Alyssa sitting alone at one of the tables on the third floor. Uh, I must have been there after Milliam left and before Princess Alfin arrived. All right, that gets a few people out of the way. Yeah, let's ask the next person. Ooh, that's three people out of out of the way. Put up with Elliot and Eustace, right? Let's spot anyone else? Noticed Emma and Fee as I entered the game room. Must have been when they were heading to the kitchen area. Didn't realize anyone had seen us going in there. Same, must have let my guard down. Feel bad about that. Walking around the courageous. You said you sat and talked with Millian for a while before she left, and later you went into the royal room. That's right. Did see Gaius pass through after Millian left. That must be when he was on his way to the front desk to enjoy the wind. All right, thanks. You said you stayed at the bridge after everyone else left, right, Laura? Indeed. It follows that I saw none of our other classmates after that, nor did they save me. Fair enough. Not much we can do about that. This is hard, guys. It's hard keeping track of everything. Uh, reference room, and then to the kitchen, and Fee was with you the whole time. Anyone else? You can answer this one, right? Of course we did. Uh, we saw Eustace enter the game room. Didn't see anyone else, though. Yep, that's a relief. Just knowing there is a conclusive of evidence and blue block is a masquerading as Emma, but oh well. After you finished talking with Alyssa, you went to the nap room, right? Did you see anyone other than Alyssa? Nope, not a cell. Wish I stayed there. There, the men have gotten and let us even out for two. Never mind that for now. Well, I think that's all we're gonna get. Okay, we've asked everyone here what they did, and if they saw anyone else while they were doing it. Wanna go over it all again? Yep, let's do that. First, the places where everyone started out were... If I remember correctly, Elliot and Machias were at the Orville factory on the first floor. Eustace and Gaius were in the close corners. Close combat training room on the fourth floor. Those two were at one of the tables on the third floor hallway. Emma and I were in the reference room on the second floor. Aside from Laura, who had no alibi, all of them were in groups of two. True! Which means everything you just listened is likely to be genuine. For what they did afterwards, though... Elliot left the Orville factory before Machias did. They went to the arts training room alone. He also met Gaius and Eusis. Yep. Gaius said he went to the deck on the third floor. Eusis went to the game room on the second floor. On your way there, you saw Alyssa alone in the third floor hallway. I mean, they must have already left for the nap room by then. Yeah, except it was Machias. 30 minutes after Elliot left the factory room, he finished his business there as well and headed to the game room. I uh, meshed with my own experiences in the room alone for some time. Walked into the game room, noticed Emma and Fee walking into the kitchen. Uh, started out in the reference room, but eventually we moved on to the kitchen. Can't exactly remember how long. Uh, we saw Eustace heading into the game room. That's everyone. Any idea who our guilty party is, Reen? Yeah, I've got a good idea now. You do? You're cool sometimes, Reen. Can you share your idea with us then? Gladly. There's one who actually found out they'd be in disguise as none other than. Alright, Selen. I need to hurry up and end the stream now. Is it, uh. Is it either. Is it either Gaius or Laura? Those are my, uh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Am I still alive, guys? Machias, cause Emma, and he saw Eusus. So it's Machias, then? I guess yes or no, is it Machias? Oh no, um... I'm gonna go with what you said. I don't know if I'm live right now, guys. There's no internet right now. There is no internet. I repeat, there is no internet. You, Machias! Why me? What's your evidence? Maki said he saw you and Emma in the kitchen area. What if we do? What does that leave Emma's testimony? 
we said are in the game room. That's right, those guys are not out to each other. I'm said Machius. Oh my god, arrived right, that's correct, which means exactly there's no way monkeys can see them and fee which claims he did, not possible. Well if you say that, whatever was in the wrong. The test wouldn't contradict each other. Wasn't wrong, I did too, a number one suspect. Indeedably, my dear fee, the Aqua Gaming right in our midst, no other than Machius. I'm sure of it, the game is up and a PTB, you should show yourself. <laughs> Well reasoned, my friends. A fine deduction, if I say so myself. You are correct. I am Phantom Thief B. I can scarcely believe my eyes. He got us good. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I'm live right now. There is no internet here right now. But it says I'm still streaming. Generous hand, helping us along. Sorry guys, I'm gonna just read this quietly to myself. I don't know if I'm live right now. I can't even see any of the chat rooms. What a duel, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to meeting you again on a new stage one day. <laughs> what a guy. This sucks, guys. Wow, network error. Uh huh. No one can even get a message to me right now, so sorry guys. I'm gonna end the stream now, and uh, hopefully tomorrow, or tonight, it'll be fixed. Yeah, how am I still live if I have no internet? I don't get it, guys. Anyway, uh, we did it. Phantom Thief Beast thing is solved. If it's not live, then... If something happened, I'll redo it tomorrow if I have to. Uh, I can't see anyone's messages right now, so I'll just say goodbye, anyone who's here. Have a lovely day. I'll see you all later. See ya!